the length of a room is 5.5 meters and width is 3.75 meters. Find the cost of paving the floor by slabs at the rate of 800 rupees per square meter. Well, a room is usually rectangular in shape and we have been given the length and its breadth. So we can calculate the area. So area is equals to 5.5, that's the length, times 3.75, that's the breadth. And if solved, that will give you 20.625 meters square. Okay, so we know the area, we have been given the cost of paving the floor at the rate of 800 rupees per square meter. So the cost of paving the complete room will be equal to 800 times 20.625. So you have 8 times 2062.5 and that will give you 16,500 and that will be in rupees because it's the cost. So option D is the correct answer. The length of a rectangular plot is 60% more than its breadth. If the difference between the length and the breadth of that rectangle is 24 cm, what is the area of that rectangle? So the length of this rectangular plot is 60% more than its breadth. So I can write length is equals to 160% of breadth. Right. So that's 160 by 100 times B. So I have L is equals to 16 by 10 B and if I divide it by 2, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 5 is 10. So L is 8 by 5 B. That's one equation. Now we have also been given the difference between the length and the breadth as 24. So L minus B is equals to 24. Now put the value of L in this equation and that's 8 by 5b. So 8 by 5b minus b is equal to 24. So I have 8b minus 5b and that is 3b by 5 is equal to 24. So b is equal to 24 times 5 by 3. 3 8s are 24 and 8 pi's are 40. So b is equal to 40 centimeter. So we've got the breadth. Now we want the length. Now length is equal to 8 by 5b. So L is equal to 8 by 5 times 40 and 5 eighths are 40 and therefore length is equal to 8 eighths are 64 centimeter. Okay, now area is equal to length into breadth and that's 64 times 40 and that is equal to 2560 centimeter square. So the answer is option C. The difference between the length and breadth of a rectangle is 23 meters. If the perimeter is 206 meters, then what is its area? What is a perimeter? Well, consider this rectangle. So you start from this corner and you encircle the rectangle along its sides coming back to the original point. And the distance traveled will be the perimeter. So in other words, perimeter is length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. So that is equal to twice of length plus breadth. So this is a formula to be remembered and a very important formula. So let us solve a question now. So we have been given the difference between the length and breadth. So L minus B is equal to 23 meters. And the perimeter is 206. So I have L plus B, the twice of that is equal to 206. Okay, so L plus B will be 206 by 2 and that's 103. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Equation 1 plus 2 will give you, let us write it, L minus B, L plus B is equal to 23 is equal to 103. So you are adding these equations, so B gets cancelled out. We have twice of L is equals to 126. Okay, so therefore length is equals to 126 by 2 and that is 63 meters. So you have got 
the length. What is the breadth? Well, put the value of length in equation 2, you'll get the breadth. So breadth is equals to 103 minus length, that's 103 minus 63, and that will be equals to 40 meters. So you've got the length, you've got the breadth. What is the area? Area is equals to length into breadth, and that is equals to, you know, 63 times 40, and that will be equal to 2520 meters square. So option D is the correct answer. The length of a rectangular hall is 5 meters more than its breadth. If the area of the hall is 750 square meter, what is the length of the hall? Well, the length of the rectangular hall is 5 meters more than its breadth. So I have L is equals to B plus 5. Or in other words, I can say that B is equals to L minus 5. Okay? Now we know the formula for area. Area is equals to length into breadth. And we have been given the area and that's 750. So 750 is equals to length into breadth is length minus 5. So 750 is equals to L square minus 5L. And therefore L square minus 5L minus 750 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. If you solve this, you'll get two values of L. One value will be 30 and the other value will be minus 25. So you can ignore the negative value because length cannot be negative. So the value of this length, that's the length of the hall, will be 30 meters. Okay, so option D is the correct answer. I hope you know how to solve quadratic equations. If not, check out the chapter on quadratic equations. The area of a rectangle is 460 square meters. If the length is 15% more than the breadth, what is the breadth of the rectangular field? So area is equals to length into breadth. So we have 460 is equals to length into the breadth. Now we have been given that the length is 15% more than the breadth. So length is equals to 115% of the breadth. Now put this value of L in this equation and we can get the value of B. So we have 460 is equals to 115 B upon 100 times B. Right? So we have B square is equals to 460 times 100 divided by 115. Now 5 times 23 is 15 and 5 times 20 is 100. 23 times 20 is 460. So we have B square is equals to 20 times 20 is 400 and b is equals to under root of 400 and therefore we have b is equals to 20 meters so option d is the correct answer